Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Daily Downshift. Today is a sad day. It is time to say goodbye to the BMW M2. It is time to finally sell this thing after a long year of mods and fun. Uh, we're upgrading to new and better things. We're gonna keep it a secret, but we'll let you know. And I got a great assistant here today, Tom Holland himself. Spider-Man, baby. I can't believe I got the budget to get you on this video, but eh, it's incredible. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Okay, so there's already a couple things that I did last night by myself. A, I took off the carbon fiber uh, mirrors that we had. It was a pretty simple job. And I started to take off the entire vinyl wrap. There's just a little bit left as well um, as the shark fin. There's a couple more things we want to do today. We're not going to get everything done because we've done so many mods to this car, but we're going to take off the side uh, markers. We're going to take off the carbon fiber front grill. We're not touching anything engine related today, uh, but I also want to go ahead and take off the rear spoiler, rear diffuser, and we also got to take off the carbon fiber exhaust tips that you guys can barely see and uh, maybe even the tin today. So long long day let's uh let's get this transformation started with okay guys so we've been working at this thing plugging away for uh for about an hour now we worked on these side markers we got these bad boys off looking nice and stock here's what we took off the carbon fiber the silver looks really weird man especially on a white car i don't like it and uh i know why i put all this carbon fiber on after we also did the uh the badge this used to be black and white i did a whole black and white theme Carbon fiber grills are also coming off. We have the original ones right over here. So much silver, man. How do you how do you feel about the silver? It looks pretty bad, huh? Not a fan, but when you're uh, you know taking the car back, you got to do it. Yeah, you got to do it. Put it all OEM. Alrighty, looks like we're going fishing. We got the fishing line here. We're trying to go through. It's freezing. That's why you hear the heater in the back. Oh yeah, they're actually kind of working. Oh, and we broke it. All right, next fishing line. Oh, we got some here. Yeah, this is such a good looking spoiler. Yeah, it's huge. Oh, there we go, okay. All right, we're gonna have to heat this because it's gonna break again. Yeah. But yeah, we've been making good progress though. Look at that. Nice. Back emblems on. We got the vinyl this. wrap roof off, but we still got a little bit here we gotta work on. We got the mirrors back on. We took off the uh, carbon fiber. Got the front logo back on. We got the silver girls, ew. Silver girls look so bad. But yeah, so we're working our way to the back of the car now. We're gonna tackle the spoiler um, and potentially the side skirts. And what I also wanna do is I wanna make sure that carbon fin comes off and we can put the original back on. And then after that, we're gonna get the back reflectors done and potentially spring. So we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated and we'll just keep plugging away at this. Okay, so we finished up quite a few things. We're moving on right now to the side skirts. The other side's already off. That's oh yeah, there she goes. Woo! Get that out of here. It's nice really and dirty. Yeah. There might be a screw inside, I don't know. Do a little. This, yeah, let me put this over here for the time being. But yeah, the car is super dirty. I washed it before we started this install and uh, all the water kind of turned to ice. <sighs> you guys can't see it on camera, but you can literally see like the my breath just exhaling because it's so freaking cold. We had to turn off the uh, propane heater that we had because like it started smelling like propane or I started uh, watering a little bit. So we thought it was, you know, not good. But yeah, car is uh, starting to look really, really stock guys. I mean, it's on, it's a little jacked right now. So it's kind of weird, um, but we've done basically everything. I mean, we even take, uh, took off the uh, shark fin. We still have to get that fixed because there's a lot of adhesive on it. Tint's still on the car. Yeah, that's the, yeah, we gotta fix that. And then uh, let's take a look real quick here. We still have the tints on, we gotta do that. We still have the diffuser, but it's loose. And we also took these guys out. So we're gonna put in the original red reflectors. Aesthetically speaking, <laughs> this car is back to stock. I mean, that's the funny. hood, the hood though, yeah. the hood. Yeah, that's, the hood that's is super weird. Everything is so <laughs> stock. Yeah, it's, it's weird, but hood. And uh, after that, it's really just like all the engine performance mods and stuff have to come off and the springs and then we're done. All right, so you guys probably think I'm joking with the ski mask, but it is freezing right now. Let me show you this right here. Look at this window, okay? This, this, is, this is ice right here. Look at this. No joke, the curtain stuck to it. This, it's freezing. It's like what, minus 25? And we're here trying to remove vinyl by heating. It is frozen, so I have to constantly heat it. And our heater is now fully out of propane. No propane left, man. And uh, you're struggling with the diffuser. The situation's dire right now. It's really dire. <laughs> and it's getting late to add to it. Yeah. So 
It's going well is basically what we're trying to say. It's going great. It's going great. <laughs> okay, guys, day two working on the car, stripping everything. We got a lot of stuff done yesterday, mostly aesthetic, you know, vinyl wrap, front grill. Uh, we got the side mirrors done. We got the side markers, side skirts off, the diffuser off, spoiler off. We did a ton yesterday. Today, we're working on the front springs. We did the other side already, reverted to OEM. Now, Oris is just going off here on the uh, on the second one. So, we're, we're making pretty good progress here. Go and a bit. Um, yeah, we're, we're trying to take out this, this spring and basically fix it because we made oh. a little bit of a mistake. All right, and as you guys can probably tell by the environment here today, we are not in our garage and it is super warm. Nestor's in a t-shirt. Yeah. I'm in a sweater even though I'm sweating. Feels good, feels good. I don't have a hat, so it's, it's definitely good. The weather's warmed up, but look at this beautiful shop. Nice lighting. Yeah. Big shout out to our good friend Tudor for hooking it up. He's behind the camera, so. Uh, yeah. It's a good day. Okay, so we wrapped up today. We only did the front spring, so not a ton of progress, but the car looks extremely OEM. I mean, all the aesthetic mods are basically off it, and uh, if you guys can tell, we got a <laughs> nice little shark fin here because the original one we have is kind of like broken, paint's kind of chipped off, so we're gonna order a new one. We still have to put the original spoiler back on and the original diffuser, but I can do that stuff tonight. Uh, but yeah, the car is extremely stock. Engine mods and the rear springs are left to do and then we're done and then this thing is gonna get shipped off And it's time for an upgrade, but let's keep let's keep cracking along with this thing We'll see you guys on the next day today We're in a bit of a rush and tomorrow as well because we have officially signed on a new car We're trading this bad boy in for a new car I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what it is until we actually pick it up next week But if you guys have any guesses comment them down below There's just so many things that I could have possibly upgraded to I mean think about it Mercedes, maybe C63, maybe an RS5, you know, there's a lot of a lot of options out there. Now, I don't want to spoil it, but I think you guys are not going to be able to guess what I'm upgrading to. I'm not going to give you guys any hints other than that I'm trading this in, and obviously that means that the other car is going to be more expensive. So, that's all you guys got. Today, what we're doing is we are working on the, uh, the air intake right now. I'm swapping it out for the stock air box. And then after that, we're also probably gonna do the intercooler and then call it for the day. So let's get right to it, man. We got a lot of work to do. Uh, I apologize for not filming anything, guys. As you can see, the car is gone. It's just outside. I'll tell you about that story in a second, but I was uh, solo today, so not a ton of free hands to film and also install at the same time. Um, we did a bunch of stuff today. I'm super, super happy with the results. We got the intake off, we got the intercooler off, and we managed to do the Sport Cat as well. Return that back to OEM. Um, I rolled the car off the ramps to see how it would sound, obviously just to get the car outside, and it is so much more quiet now without you know, the, the intake making swooshes and then obviously the downpipe too. So we're gonna go ahead and start the car for you guys and uh, I'll show you how it sounds stock. It's pretty weird, but we won't have to live with it for too long because the car is gone in about three, four days from now. I know I said this thing's almost stock, but like that hood just makes this look not stock whatsoever. So once that's gone, this car is gonna truly, truly look bare bones basic M2. But that hood right there just, just kills it. It doesn't look stock whatsoever. So let's start this thing up and I'll show you guys what it sounds like. All right, let's get a nice little start for you guys. Might not sound bad on camera, but when you're used to a sport cat, trust me, does not sound as good. Let's go to the back real quick. Got a little bit of snow too. Honestly, you know what? It doesn't sound horrible stock because it's the N55, that's the thing. If this was the S55, the uh, M2 comp, then obviously it would sound worse. But because this is the N55, it actually doesn't sound horrible on startup. Now it got a lot quieter, so it's starting to sound a little bit like a Prius. But anyways, let's get out of here, guys. We're in the home stretch. All we have to do is the hood, and I'm sorry for the lighting, guys, holy. All right, we gotta do the hood, we gotta do the rear springs, and we have to, I think, install the OEM spoiler, the little white spoiler for the M2, and we're done, done, done. After that, it is time to say goodbye to the car. What's up, guys? We're on day number 14, 15, 28. I don't know, man. I don't know at this point. We've been at this car for a while. It's realistically probably like day four. Got Oris behind the camera today. Uh, we finished off a couple of things yesterday that I didn't film, and today we're on the final thing, which is the rear springs. And thank God we are done, done, done after this. This is the last one we need. 
Um, the last corner basically once this goes on we are good the car is being sold on Tuesday and we're trading in for the Haha, I'm not gonna tell you guys <laughs> this car is gonna be sold very very soon um, And yeah, we're making some good progress on this. We got the spring out already Got to change the top hat bottom hat onto the old BMW spring here. There we go. All right So that's it last one cars jacked as you can see here. Yeah front suspension things riding high other side is done. We're so happy to be finishing this. Oh, yeah. It's a Saturday night. Nice and rested Sunday. Okay, guys, as promised, here is the full 360 of the BMW M2. Now that it is completely is stock, take a look at this, guys. So we got front emblems back on. We got the silver grill back on. Carbon fiber um, front splitter lip gone. The hood, as you can see, OEM hood. The other one's right over there. We have the winter wheels on right now, stock height in the front. We also have this right here, the stock silver side markers, stock mirrors, stock roof, no uh, vinyl wrap on it, no carbon fiber shark fin anymore. Uh, we still have the tint on the car. That's one thing that we did not want to change. Side skirts are off the car, rear springs done, winter wheels on. Um, as you can see, spoilers no longer carbon fiber, no more tint on the taillights. The back emblem is done up. The Monaco Motorsports titanium carbon fiber exhaust tips are off the car. We have the honeycomb off the car as well. Back to stock reflectors, stock diffuser. The carbon fiber with the rain light is gone. The only thing that actually stayed is this right here. The black M2 badge. There's just no need for us to go back to silver. And plus black looks just way, way better. But yeah, so really the only things that we kind of kept on this car that are not stock is that M2 badge and um, the tint. That's literally it. The car also has some PPF on the front end, uh, but yeah, it is 100% stock. And my God, it is uh, it is an ugly looking car stock, I must say. Maybe it's because I was so used to this car being uh, wildly different that now that it's stock, it looks so ugly. But I also think that the rims uh, don't help whatsoever and they don't flatter the paint color, that's for sure. But anyway, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the uninstall process of everything. It took us, like I said, a bunch of days. It was a difficult task, but we got it done. Um, the hardest part was honestly just the cold weather. Negative 10, 15, 20 every single day. And that, that was really just, yeah, caused a lot of problems. Plastics cold, prone to cracking. So you had to really work slowly, heat some areas up. But uh, yeah, guys, so we are gonna be selling this thing in about three days from now. And we do have an upgrade already planned. Once again, comment down below if you think you know what we're upgrading to. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more daily car content. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.